everybody, Jimmy James here for Fractal Minds, uh, back again with my weekly vlog. I'm going to be calling this the weekly login video series. And uh, last week we talked about E3 and uh, all the fun games that got announced for that. And uh, this week we're going to talk about two big games that uh, were our big summer games this year, uh, Witcher 3 and uh, the game that just came out that is Go make me stop playing The Witcher 3 for right now. Um, I've been having a blast with The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Uh, this game has consumed my life. <laughs> uh, I've sunk 65 hours in and I'm still, I don't think I'm like around a quarter of the way done, maybe a third. Uh, I just went into the third area and met up with Yennefer finally. <laughs> uh, you kind of get uh, with her a little early in the game, but then you split apart because uh, you're looking for Siri, your daughter. And 65 hours in, I still don't know where she is, and I'm still having a blast. It, it's such a rich and rewarding game. Um, going th through all these different areas, seeing different people, um, the combat's amazing. I've been having a lot of fun with that. It was a little challenging at first. Um, it, it's really a more defensive game than what you're kind of used to with um, my experience with the Witcher games in the past. But um, such a more, much more rewarding experience and um, after you get the hang of it, you just flow through the combat and um, I'm, I'm just loving every aspect of this game and uh, even the Gwent uh, card game was fun. I kind of, I don't know, I. I guess I found the winning deck because there was a long time where I just not, did not lose a single match. and But it was still fun playing that game because I kind of figure out the secrets to it and kind of abuse the, <laughs> the rules. But um, yeah, The Witcher 3 is such a fun experience. Um, I was a little afraid of not going through the entire previous games if I was going to enjoy this game and have a reward experience with it. And so far, I can't say enough of how much I enjoyed it and if you haven't played one or two don't feel like you need to just jump right into Witcher 3 it's, it's such a worthwhile experience it's on all the platforms and so far from what I've heard they with all the patches they've fixed a lot of the early bugs that are out there um, doesn't seem like there's any more game crashing experiences but I never really ran into that except for one bad corrupt save but that was early on, not that big of a deal. Check out this game, everyone. But uh, for what I have now, <laughs> the reason why I'm uh, saying goodbye to The Witcher 3 for right now, just for a little while, because I really, really want to play Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, that's right. This game is uh, just released the uh, uh, third official entry in the Arkham series by Rocksteady. Uh, a good friend, co-founder in Fractal Minds, Kevin, he gifted this to me. Um, I gave him The Witcher, so he's given me Batman, which is uh, a nice fair deal, and uh, I'm pretty excited to jump into this game. I've been looking forward to it a very long time. Uh, who knows if I'll enjoy it more than The Witcher, because, <laughs> uh, well, the, the last Arkham City, that last entry in the series, that was my game of the year uh, when it came out and um, not a lot of games have uh, hit that mark for me um, so maybe this will uh, be a worthwhile sequel so from what I've seen it, it looks incredible um, and the Batmobile sections look pretty fun um, you do pretty much travel so fast and there's no, there hasn't been a mobility issue with the Batman series in the past, so adding the Batmobile seems a little odd, but maybe they're going more with the action uh, with it than just being a mobility vehicle for you. But I'm ready to jump into it. I think I might sneak in some time before Kevin gets over here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to jump into that pretty soon. But first, I do want to bring up one more thing, uh, a couple more things actually. There's a bunch of codes you had to do to redeem content for Batman, and I was doing that last night. And with the Xbox One voice controls with Connect, you would think it would be redeem a code to redeem a code. <laughs> but they want you to say, use a code. And I just thought that was pretty silly. Like, I, my first instincts when I think to 
um, re redeem a code, turn one in, is say redeem, not use a code. So maybe with hopefully with Cortana being implemented into uh, the voice controls, maybe we'll get a little more, you can say what you want and it'll interpret what you're trying to do. That would be a nice improvement for Connect in my opinion. And uh, one more exciting news uh, thing for me personally is uh, Christopher Moore, my favorite author of all time, uh, and uh, this book that he wrote a little while ago uh, called A Dirty Job, that is currently my favorite book. You have Charlie Asher uh, raising a child by himself, and all the while he is becoming uh, basically death and having to retrieve souls as they pass. Um, it's a funny book, it's an emotional book, makes you think about life and death, and it's finally getting a sequel. Uh, this movie I thought about, or the book, I thought about in so many ways as a movie, but um, they've auctioned the rights for it, but none of his books have become movies yet. I really think they should, like if they do it right, of course, but uh, we're finally getting a sequel though, so that's really exciting. A continuation of the story is always welcome especially with his books he always seems to uh, figure out a good way of continuing the story of these characters um, we're getting the book it's called secondhand souls looks like you're uh, we're going to see what happened to uh, Sophia the, the daughter of Charlie um, growing up and see what her role now is in the world so that's all I have for you folks I hope you enjoyed this I'm going to try to do this weekly um, I'm going to be calling this the weekly login videos uh, just because of all the login bonuses you get throughout the industry now but anyway thank you for watching everyone hit me up on twitter at drummond j108 if you have any suggestions for topics that you want me to see talk about uh, also like and subscribe you can comment this video too about uh, topics so yeah just hit me up and uh, let me know what you think of this until next time